Information tonight at 5 about a hot car death we've been following for days. A one-year-old boy died after being left in a car for hours last week. Today, the baby's foster mother had her first court appearance, facing an involuntary manslaughter charge. It comes as new court documents reveal what led Don Vandenbroek to leave her one-year-old in the car. NBC Charlotte's Alex Shabbat has been digging into the documents. He joins us now from the courthouse with what he's finding. Well, that search warrant shows the baby's foster mother drove about half a mile after leaving work when she realized he was still in the car. By the time she pulled over, it was already too late. Hey, Pineville, it's Charlotte. I got a bad call for you. Before pulling into this Lowe's parking lot, Dawn Broke was leaving work and heading to pick up her foster son from daycare. That's when court records show she realized the one-year-old was already in her car and had been there since 10 in the morning. And it wasn't until around 5 in the afternoon emergency crews were called to the scene. Pediatric arrest at the Lowe's. It's going to be a baby left in the car in the parking lot. Don't know the state of mind at the time, uh, what caused uh, her to forget, but um, unfortunately it did happen. A search warrant describes the foster mother as appearing emotionless initially while paramedics tried to save the baby in the back seat. But when she told officers what happened, she began to cry. She told them when she checked on her foster son, he looked bad, possibly deceased. Medic has already started. Female caller left her child in the car all day, now stating her child is dead. Court records also reveal more about the family dynamics. Broke telling investigators the one-year-old victim was the youngest of her five foster children, and she'd had him for six months, now charged with involuntary manslaughter for his death. Is an unintentional killing. In this case, a parent who failed to provide appropriate care. According to the search warrant, investigators now seizing items like the infant car seat as they look for any evidence of child abuse or neglect and controlled substances, trying to make sense of such a senseless loss. Everybody has a busy life. We, you know, we all understand that, but nothing's more important than your kids. Broke was released from the jail on a $100,000 bond. She was represented by her attorney in the court hearing today. Her next court appearance is scheduled for September 23rd. In Uptown, Alex Shabad, NBC Charlotte.